This is Bob Anderson, and I'm going to do a video for December 15th, 2022, where I show my um, the two trades I took in, e in the ES today between 9.45 and 10.30. I should have taken three. Um, I just <laughs> wasn't paying attention to the fact that it had passed 9.45 because uh, there was one trade that set up at exactly, um, I think it was 9.46. That worked. And then there was another one, but the, the one I did take was the one that set up at 9.54. That one went, you know, nice and straight, right, to five points. And then I took another one at like 10.09 or something, which failed. So anyways, um, I'm going to show you those three trades, going to show you, show you why I did take them or the i.e. the one I missed. Then I'm gonna then I'm gonna delete all the one minute lines because I want to get into a quick little conversation as we get closer and closer to New Year's. I, I um you know today the market the, the ES was down quite a bit. So um so I was able to you know you to, to 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 trade the ES and make some money on it. Whereas oil kind of sat in some consolidation for quite a while and didn't really didn't really present much uh, present much to me. But what I want to do then is I want to talk about something that people ask me: What does rhythm mean? And um, or what do I mean when I say rhythm? Not what does it really mean? Um, you know what what do I mean when I say rhythm? And <clears throat> it's really two things that I look for when I say rhythm. And I'm and it's and it's I'm always looking to my left on my charts because um, every picture tells a story, don't it? <laughs> so, anyways, um, because if it, it, it what what you will what you should be able to deduce by looking to your left is are your moving averages working? Is there a reaction at your moving averages? If there's a reaction at your moving average, at your moving averages, then you should feel some more confidence that your moving averages that you're going to see to the right and the trades off of them are um, likely to work or you know likely to have a reaction. The second thing that I'm looking for is is the follow through from that reaction that you're seeing at those moving averages significant enough to warrant you taking a trade. And, I, and and what I mean by that is, can you get into a trade and based on what you're seeing to the left, can you get in it and manage it because, it because what you saw to the left is the trades moving in your favor? Um, because if what you're seeing to the left is a reaction, but the reaction really isn't anything, then what makes you think the moment you get in, all of a sudden it's going to become something? Um, I don't think I could say that enough. That's why I talk about not trading in consolidation. Because when there's consolidation, I, I, man, I wish I, I need to draw some more charts. If you know, if you've got consolidation, this is a top and this is the bottom, and this is what price is going in between, okay? And you got your moving averages in here. By the time it comes back to here and goes to here, there's no room in here for this trade to make you money. So, and if so, if you're seeing the stuff to the left doesn't have follow through, what makes you think the one you're going to take is going to have follow through? Because by the time you've by the time it set up and came up and did this, it's already up here where price is pushing it back down because you're in consolidation. Remember, remember the scenario I've given you guys before. You are that fish that's sitting on right on the right on the back of that shark, and you're following the sharks. You are not the one making the market move. You're the one going with the one going with the people making the market move. So are your lines working and are is there significant movement that you're seeing to your left that will allow you to get into a trade and manage it 
so that you can potentially get to your profit target of say five points or whatever. Um, and if the answer is yes to both those questions, then you should look to take a trade. Because I've had people ask me, well, why didn't you take any ES trades today? Well, because I looked to the left and there wasn't anything there to worry about. Uh, <laughs> so I go and look over at oil. Um, I don't have to take two losses to figure out that I don't want to trade the ES today. I had a Zoom meeting yesterday with some traders. And I, that was the thing I was trying to get across the most to them. Because they're just trying to make it. If this, then this, then this, then this, take the trade. And I'm like, it, it doesn't really work that way. You have to, you have to, you have to feel that the market has the gumption for follow through. Um, that's another reason why my trade times, my focused trade times are 945 to 1030. Because I find historically, the most gumption that the market is going to have is in between those that in that in that time zone for the ES. Oil can string out to 11 or more. And then there's some things that can happen in the afternoon too with, with both of them. But um, that's, that's for more advanced discussions, um, not today's discussion. So what I want to do is I, I, I want, I want, I want you to avoid the traps I mean, not every trade's going to work, though. We talked about that. Not every trade's going to work. The key is that you make money because you 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 recognize why you want to take that trade. If one wins and one loses, and then and then and then and then you know whatever, then you're doing really good. Um, you know, I think I made a couple hundred dollars per account today. You know, and uh, and I should have made more. I should have had that first trade. I totally just missed. Should have been another 250 bucks in my pocket. But, you know, again, I make mistakes too, folks. The key is <clears throat> I work my way out of my mistakes by recognizing price action, getting my money back, and, um, and knowing why I'm in a trade, where that trade is supposed to be going, and what it is that I'm trying to accomplish to then just shut down my charts for the day and call it a day. <clears throat> um, anyways, so let me show you the trades on the, on the ES. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to eliminate all the one minute moving averages from both the ES and oil. And I'm going to show you some price action there too. And, uh, <clears throat> and, and it may be something to focus on, um, as we get closer to the holidays because you know the bigger money plays off those those bigger those bigger moving averages and <clears throat> you're just trying to you're, again you're looking for that you're looking for that big shark you're looking for the shark to push you to your profits and um the little sharks may be on vacation the ones that push it as we get closer and closer to the holidays the ones that push it out there on those uh faster moving averages I don't I don't know that we're going to be able to play those as much as we keep getting closer to the holidays. All right, so let me just I hope I'm making sense. I really try not to confuse people. I really try not to. Yeah. Anyways, I don't even know if I just confused a bunch of people. Let me show you the charts first. All right, so here is my ES chart for today. Okay, so, you know, we had a lot of news today and yada, yada, yada. So, I mean, I just kind of, I kind of got, you know, I kind of was complacent about even thinking about the ES. But then we broke down. We were consolidating all the way through here and here and here. Then we broke down, rolled up. This is uh, 940, 940. That rolled down, rolled up. And then right here is the trade I missed. See this pivot low? See this pivot low right here? We created a new pivot low right at 9.45. Ran up at 9.46. I should have had that short right there at 9.48. Uh, 9.40, I'm sorry, 9.47. I should have had that one. I missed it. I just wasn't really paying attention. 
Um, it, it, it did get beat around, beaten around a little bit. Um, but you know, it had a, it had a pullback of, let me see here. You're in it. 65, 25. 6650 so one two three four one you had a pullback of five ticks ran down to your target right here so there you are five points came down created a new pivot low another higher low another higher low and bam there's the trade i took right there i was in at 3960 boom out at 3955 and that thing collapsed boy there was money left on the table with this one Roll down, roll down, new pivot low, higher low, higher low, boom, short there, bam, out. That was it. I was done. I was done with the ES at that point. Um, so I, I missed the first trade that's in my trading strategy to be past 945. I did hit the second one, which got me, um, you know, five points. Could have gotten freaking 10. <laughs> Could have gotten 15. Anyways, and then I, and then the third one, probably shouldn't have taken it. Well, I definitely shouldn't have taken it. But anyways, who knows? Um, so that's it. So what I want to do just quickly is I want to take this and I want to take my indicators, my one minute, in, my, my remove, remove, and remove and i want to just show you guys this again again this is the cleaned up version of the es uh, now the es again this is part of studying charts study charts look for reactions okay the main thing that i want to show is look at how look at how, this was at the open so there's nothing there don't worry about it but what it shows you is the reaction off the, the 105 SMA red line. See, that does show you a reaction. So there you're sitting there going, hmm, okay. Not really seeing any, you're not really seeing any good reaction off the gold line here in the ES, if you notice that. So, you know, kind of, kind of, let's kind of ignore that maybe. But let's look for the next time we hit that red line. Let's just look for that, see what happens. Man, when did that even happen? Oh, here we go. All right, so here's your red line right there. Short. I mean, if you do, if you do the first, here's your touch. Here's your roll up. Here's your touch. Here's your break off that red line. Thirty nine twenty nine. So five points is thirty nine twenty four. See if we get it. Uh, oh yeah, right there. Boom. One, two, three, four, four minutes. There's your five points. Um, so again, look to your left, see what worked. Look to your right and see if there's an opportunity there. That's what I'm trying to say. So, and, and here's a continuation trade. So once, once you break that down, boom, you just put your stop right in here. And then you just follow your candles if you want. I mean, that thing, if you'll, here's what you need to recognize. See this? That's a, that's a reaction. Let's see if it still went. Nope. Then it rotated up. Okay. But that's a, that's a reaction. This is not by accident. These did not move that many points from here where it touched the red line to here where it stopped, which was about nine points. It didn't do that by accident. Okay. So let's talk about, let's do the same thing in oil. Okay. So let's go over here and look at the oil chart. All right. Let me get my, let me get my, all my freaking floor plans out of the way here for my houses. Sorry. All right. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go up here into my indicators and I want to remove these things. I just want, I just want, this is all for observational purposes. What you do with this information is totally up to you, but this is what I do. 
in my free time <laughs> is I look for things like this, okay? So let's talk about oil. Well, oil had a nice reaction right here off the five minute down. Then it broke up through, so nothing there. And then it rolled up, did a, then it came all the way through, all the way through the red line, back up, and then bam, there's another one. Roll back up to the gold line, then bam, there's another one. Then it rolled through the gold line, so don't worry about it. Rolled up, rolled down, bam, there's another one. Now, of course, this is, this is counter trend, so I'm not a fan of that, as you know. But I'm showing you the reaction. Okay, I'm not calling that a valid trade, just so you'll know. So don't, don't, nobody message me, what are you talking about? I'm just looking for the reaction. So let's go to more reactions. Boom. Okay, here we are. Here's the first touch after you've crossed the red line on your gold line. Again, your gold line being your 45 EMA on your one minute chart. And there it goes. Gets a little, now this is, now this is, by the way, this is in the afternoon. So this is like, uh, this was at like 1248 that you'd have had your entry somewhere right in here. And let's see what happens. Uh, uh, uh. Boy, this one hung out for a while, didn't it? Oh, it did it again. So let's see here. It went from here, which is 75. Oh, shit. Yeah, this one up, um, <laughs> this one up uh, 40 ticks. Holy shit, that went up 40 ticks. So that's actually a 40 tick move right here. This was 40 ticks, which is $400. Then rolled down and broke right through. So there's no trade there. Now you're into late afternoon. And there's where oil is right now, just sitting around. But when you had the push through, you pulled down, boom, you went short here maybe, follow the candle, 82, all the way down to 71. Of course, that's counter trend. Remember, I'm not a fan of that. But I'm showing you reactions. Are there reactions happening at certain spots? Again, you're looking for reactions. If you look to your left and you see reactions, off of certain lines at certain spots, then you can then you can make an educated guess that when something like that sets up again to your right, that you can take a higher probability trade for you to take and make money off of. Anyways, that's my 10 cents <clears throat> on that. Oh, by the way, I want to show everybody my shirt. See? This is, this is what my kids got me. <laughs> so, because I went fishing, I'm on the other line, folks. I'm on the other line. I don't know if it showed up in the video or not, but anyways, it's supposed to be an iPhone, but I'm on the other line. That's why I didn't answer my calls, because I'm always on the phone. <laughs> That's what my job is. So, I'll talk to everybody later. See you. Bye.